folks and white folks sometimes called crackers and niggers are really sticking together they are sticking together when problems come up they try to solve them together and to prove what i'm talking about in new york city a cracker and a nigger broke with no money and the cracker say to the nigger partner we going out tonight and have ourselves a whole lot of fun nigger said man how we gonna have some fun with no money cracker says here's what we going to do we're gonna hit every bar in town that's got liquor we're gonna drink all the liquor we want and when it's time to pay the bill you see this hot dog sometime called a frankfurter i'm gonna take that frankfurter i'm gonna put it between your legs and then i'm gonna get down on my knees and suck on the frankfurter and then they're gonna think we're a bunch of queers and throw our black asses out nigga said you think that's gonna work he said i know it's gonna work and they hit a ball drunk up about 49 dollars worth of liquor time to pay the bill nigga took the frankfurter put it between his legs cracker got down on his knees and he sucked motherfucker he sucked on that frankfurter and they threw their asses out and not only did it work at that bar it worked at 14 other bars and they're both drunk in hell Cracker looked at the nigga and said, well, hell, hell, my brother, we gonna hit one more bar. Nigga said, why? Why are we all ready, bro? Cracker said, I'll tell you why. On the last bar, I'm gonna hold the Frank Fred, and I want you to get down on your knee, and I want you to suck the motherfucker. Nigga looked at the Cracker and he said, Cracker, bullshit. Frankfurt away after we hit the second bomb. <laughs> Nothing like crackers and niggas. But one thing you gotta pay attention to niggas are really into black awareness. They are concerned with their roots. They are concerned with their roots. And I'm gonna hit you to something. Black men are now going to school to learn more about their background. My next door neighbor, over 50 years of age, going to the night school to learn about black people. Seven nights a week, he goes to night school to learn about his roots. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you'll find this black man in night school learning about black people. And every day he's in night school. And he finally graduated, came home, and I saw him with his diploma. He said, wow, man, I have graduated from night school, and I know everything about every black man in the world. I'm really aware of my roots. I said, oh, all right. If you know everything about every black man in the world, answer this question. Who was the black man that discovered blood plasma and died from lack of blood plasma in a hospital in Atlanta, Georgia? He said, wow, man. His name was Charles Drew. I said, where'd you learn that? He said, I learned that in night school because I go to night school seven nights a week, seven nights a week to learn about black folks. I said, all right, answer this question. Who was the black man that was a comedian that was on television in a series week after week? The first black man doing comedy on TV. He said, wow, man, his name was Eddie Rochester Anderson. I said, where'd you learn that? He said, I learned that in night school because seven nights a week I go to night school to learn about black folks. I said, who was the first black man that was in baseball hall of fame? He said, ha, ha, ha. I know that because seven nights a week I get that one all the time. His name was Jackie Robinson. I said, man, you know everything about every black man that's famous. I said, all right, answer this question. I'll have complete faith in you going to night school seven nights a week. I want you to answer this question. He said, hit me with it. I said, who is Peter Wheatstraw? He said, why, ha, ha, man, repeat your question. I said, who is Peter Wheatstraw? He said, wow, man, I do not know who is Peter Wheatstraw. I said, Peter Wheatstraw is the black motherfucker that's fucking your wife seven nights a week while you at night school. <laughs> All right, nigga.
Can you run and tell that? 